Hey folks, Jerome Forrestwood here. It's 4.15 p.m. on March 11, 2024 in downtown Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 6 degrees outside on a rainy afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.9 kilometers starting at Vancouver City Center Skytrain Station, then stroll northwest on West Georgia, southwest on Hornby, northwest on Robson, southwest on Thurlow, and then northwest on Davie, ending my trek in the Davie Village by the Transit bus stop at Davie and Jervis. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwith. And if you enjoy this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe! Whoa, this is blustery, man. <laughs> oh, folks, this is so blustery. <laughs> hey, you folks, Jerome Forrest here. I'm at the intersection of a blustery uh, <laughs> West Georgia and Howe Street. Oh, my goodness gracious. This place is a, a wind tunnel. And of course, it's raining outside too, so you get all of the winds. Er, <laughs> I was just about to say winds are Ontario glory, because <laughs> it rains there a lot too. You got all the Vancouver glory over here. <laughs> uh, can't rain all the time. <laughs> And it will stop raining soon, actually. There's a, a few, several days of uh, sun predicted and uh, a nice little warm up today is one of the last cold days. It's around six degrees outside right now, but if you just dress properly, uh, this ain't gonna stop a Vancouver right at all. And you can see that right now for all the people on the street here in the downtown car. Now, once you get away from those little wind tunnels, let it rise. It's very, very calm and much easier to carry your umbrella <laughs> or hold it over top of your head. Now we're just passing the Vancouver Art Galleries, Public Square. Keep walking here on West Georgia Street. Here is Hornby Street, so we'll cross Hornby. And we'll continue on West Georgia. Or maybe we'll go down Hornby. Who knows? We're mixing it up. <laughs> Not like I used to be able to mix up in Toronto because Vancouver's a whole lot smaller than when I was filming in Toronto, but you could still mix it up. <laughs> Over here, this is Hornby Street. Right on over there is the entrance to the Vancouver Art Gallery. Like the silly former Ontarian I am, <laughs> I'm now technically a British Columbia. So it says on my ID. <laughs> and when I was coming over here from Ontario after 21 years of being away, I called the Vancouver Art Gallery, the Art Gallery of Vancouver. And I was wrong. <laughs> and you folks, the viewers, are kind enough to just let me know, hey, it's actually this. <laughs> hey, you didn't hold any grapes and, uh, or gripes, and that's greatly appreciated. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> so you go in here on Hornby. I'm not going to do anything too fancy today. So 
so it'll keep going down this side of Hornby Street. And now we'll turn up Robson. And like I said, not doing anything difficult today. <laughs> Just keeping her simple. And if you look at the puddles as we're walking along, you can see how strong the rain is by the drops that you can see in the different puddles. And again, this is nothing that's going to slow down a Vancouver right. You'll see some people carrying umbrellas, but the majority of people probably won't have anything. We'll probably just have a nice coat. <laughs> Bonus if it's a raincoat. <laughs> or some kind of parka that's also reinforced from the wet. And sometimes you'll just see folks out here with their hooded sweatshirts. <laughs> Here's the intersection of Robson and Burrard. I'm across the street here. And you get a mix of different people into Vancouver today. So for some people, this six degrees outside is actually fairly warm, especially if they're from up north, particularly from uh, <laughs> northern BC or even the Yukon. <laughs> a lot of people come over to Vancouver and expect that if there's no snow here in Vancouver, there's no snow in the rest of BC. Well, that is untrue. There is snow all over. <laughs> Different parts of British Columbia right now, especially to the north. So something to keep in mind if you're choosing to travel around the city and travel around the province. Here we are, we'll continue on Robson Street here. <laughs> and this would be our big retail strip here in the downtown core. And of course, this part of Robson Street here is technically though in the West End, which is a neighborhood in the downtown area of Vancouver. And then <laughs> there's a specific area just called Downtown Vancouver. A lot like if you went to Toronto, there's a sp specific area called Downtown Young. And they're about the equivalent <clears throat> to each other in their own cities. Vastly different though. <laughs> Let's keep walking here. We'll head up Thurlow Street here and over to the Davy Village. Along this way, we'll pass by St. Paul's Hospital. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> Two friends seeing each other. <laughs> it's raining out. Sometimes you can just walk past someone and you don't even realize who you're walking past, and all of a sudden you take a look and you're like, oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Especially when it's raining out. Sometimes you're just focusing here on the rain, but Windsor. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Vancouver, just like Windsor, is a smaller town. Much smaller town. And you tend to get to know, if you don't know the person's name, you at least know the person's face, and you've probably talked to them before, unless they're not a local. Let's cross Harrow Street. <laughs> I 
There's a reason that locals tend to, we tend to keep to ourselves here. That I've learned over time, because sometimes you'll just strike up a conversation with someone, like, you know, begin a real good friendship, and then all of a sudden, you know, that person's up and gone, because they're only here for a couple days. That's how it is here in Vancouver. So sometimes I find it hard to find friends here in Vancouver. It does take a little bit of effort to get them to warm up to you. Mainly because they're just hesitant. They're like, why put in the effort if the person's going to disappear if they're just only a tourist? There's quite a few of those. Way more than you've ever seen in Toronto. Per capita. <laughs> Ah, oh, looks like there's a murder of crows over here. I'm gonna drop some bright crowns. Ah, oh, you guys lucked out, eh? Ah, oh, brave pigeons too. <laughs> Amongst the crows, they're holding their own. Respect to those pigeons. Oh my gosh, look at this. So this place in front of us is gonna go, eh? And we're gonna get a 57 story tower. 89 social housing units, 296 market units, and then uh, amenities. This would be the building. Very cool. Very cool. We need that type of stuff, but we need it all over Vancouver. Unfortunately, down here in the downtown core, Looks like this place is also coming down. We'll look at this sign on over here too, the development application. <laughs> yeah, there's no vacancy here. No one's living here anymore. <laughs> so no vacancy sign up there. Let's see what this looks like. Here, hold on folks. There you go. So it's gonna be a shorter one, five stories, but uh, yeah place is going to change. Oh. Looks like they're just going to clean it up and make it look better. Ah. Let's see what happens there. <laughs> I think it's going to be dwarfed by the 57 story building that's going in next to it. This will be on Nelson Street and Thurlow Street. <laughs> this Canadian dude's got their spot right there. It's safer to just chill out in the city than over on the waterfront sometimes when you got all the coyotes and stuff that can come down from Stanley Park or some of the other bushy areas in the neighborhood. And of course, they hung hunting packs. The keys are okay if they can defend themselves in packs, but. Uh, Sometimes when they're by themselves, they're outnumbered. That's what the coyotes are holding out for. And on top of that, you got the occasional, it's my turn, not your turn. PR 63818, no, not your turn. It was my walk, what the heck's wrong with you? <laughs> you got to call it up. <laughs> And if you know those uh, people that had the lazy driving skills there, well, <laughs> you could just friendly chirp them a bit. Haha, <laughs> I saw you, Andrew. Oh, yeah, lazy driving skills. Smarten up. <laughs> just have some fun with it. <laughs> Don't let it sit on them for too long. <laughs> it's always good to make people think. Especially in the city voted by the CBC and CTV News as having the city with the worst drivers. You just gotta call it out. <laughs> call it out when you see it. Let's keep going here.
Ah, uh, still raining. <laughs> Just keeping my eye on those puddles. Oh yeah, she coming down. Look at that puddle. There, lots of drops in it. Sometimes you forget because you got the umbrella over top of you. It's another Windsor. <laughs> so now, why am I saying Windsor today? It's just because it rains so much there too. That's why. <laughs> it's another Vancouver phenomenon. I used to live in Windsor, Ontario back in the day. Great little school there. Not the top of the line, but uh, it's a really good school still. And uh, <laughs> had a whole lot of fun <laughs> in that city for a few years. <laughs> oh man, those border towns. Oh, gotta love them. We got them here over here in Windsor. <laughs> See, there it goes again. In Vancouver again too. So. <laughs> totally. Uh, it looks like that word wants to just come out of my mouth. <laughs> Let's get it out. Windsor, 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 Windsor. Great city. We're in Vancouver. <laughs> Oh, Nelly. Part of the hazard. <laughs> Making content like this. You got a lot of different place names in your head. Sometimes they get jumbled around. <laughs> you know where you are. The words are just the wrong words are coming out though. <laughs> Passing one of the last medicinal cannabis dispensaries here in Vancouver. A lot of them have gone in the way of the dodo. Now that you have recreational cannabis stores here. And I'm not sure of the politics. I'm not against it or for it. I'm just telling you what, I'm, what it is. Well, that's a really good driver right there. Cautious, waiting, patient, awesome. Good job on your truck driver. <laughs> yeah, this is the intersection of Davy and Thurlow. And we're now in the Davy Village. And this would be our Rainbow Crosswalk Village. Yeah, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and it's friendly. Anyone can come over here and enjoy themselves. Just uh, don't bring your bad vibes with you and just have a good time. Just expect that, you know, if you're <laughs> on the straighter side of things, you might see some things that you're not quite used to, but it's perfectly normal over here. And of course, in the downtown core, you'll see uh, people from this community all over the city. And even out beyond the downtown, on the west side, the east side, and the south side of Vancouver too. Very, very friendly area. <laughs> huh, over here's the Cobb's Red. That's bakery in town. And then after that, that's Kin's Farms. Our Kin's Farm Market. Of all the different produce out here. Kins Farm is where you want to pick up your produce if you are in the downtown core. There's one over here in the Davy Village. There's also one down in the Demon Village. Well, there's a few other places to check out too, especially in the inner core of uh, the residential area. This is on the inside of uh, Davy, Demon, Robson, and Burrard Street. 
A lot of different apartment buildings and a few uh, remaining single family dwelling homes. Not too many of those left, and the ones that are left are predominantly apartment buildings. But not all of them. They want to know your whole work history. <laughs> Got a new can of cabana over here that opened up only a couple months ago. Great little shop. Keep walking here. A whole zombie food. <laughs> it's a nice little place too. You go in there and you just order your meal. And you got like a cafeteria style. It's pretty cool. And in here, let's see, the Little Sisters supply store, oh sorry, bookstore is. <laughs> you know anything about Rainbow Crosswalk neighborhoods and bookstores? Sometimes they are bookstores, and sometimes they sell way more than bookstores. <laughs> and they're pretty handy for the neighborhood. <laughs> I just got the supply store to ask them at home. <laughs> I'm gonna keep walking here. Across the street, we got a new vintage clothing store over here. The only. And they do like higher end vintage. So it's not like uh, walking into a valley village. And they have a uh, really good quality in there. You pay it. Uh, you pay the price for it too. So that's what it is. <laughs> so this is the intersection of Davy and Jervis Street. And of course, across the street, you got the West End Harbor Community Policing Center. Community and police, and they have, tend to deal with uh, stuff that uh, well, the cops don't really need to be occupied with. Helping out with things like mental health cases, or you don't need someone who's like super built up with a gun. <laughs> you just need someone who's going to talk to some folks. This is just as important. So anyways, folks, I'm going to stop right here. Thanks for coming along today. Just remember to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> Have a good day.